Hey, what's up, guys? So, here to deliver another one for the dumpster with, ep with episode 6, and when you think it can't get any worse, they just keep digging the hole deeper and deeper. And I'm honestly all for it, because the worse this is, the faster it gets cancelled. It kind of reminds me of that show they had in... Uh, a game that had that counterpart. Oh, Defiance. Even though it was okay at the start, it, it quickly nosedived. The show was just shit since the first minute. But before I get into it, uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you like, comment, and do whatever else. Would would love to hear what you gotta say, and there will be spoilers, if that means anything. So this episode mostly focuses on Chief trying to figure out how much control Cartana has on, on him, what that Covenant girl knows, and how much she can be trusted, and Halsey getting kicked out of her own Spartan program. The only good thing I could say about this episode is, thank God we've got no Quan in this week. Eh, <laughs> well... There is one, I guess there was, well, there was that one part where, but she was only in it for a quick second. It was kind of like a memory thing. It, it was really nothing. Thank God. <laughs> I think the real problem I have with this show is, well, other than him being armor and helmless for 99% of the show, but him being so emotional is so like off-putting. Even like, before he was fisting that pill thing out of himself. I don't know why they have it, not only him, but most of the men in this show are way more emotional than the women. Pretty much all the women are rational, calm, calculating, while all the men are just running around being emotional. And I think that's why this show is doomed to fail. That and the fucking chief not wearing his helmet. There was a large portion of the episode used on the Covenant girl who, who was sending me the UNNC on what looked like a goose chase, but it, got the ch but it got the chief to touch the artifact again. But this time, I guess it projected them to the Halo ring, and that's where a lot of this really started making me even less sense. It projected him and the Covenant girl there too. Cause when this, cause the chief, beforehand the chief was like season out and she was too. And ever since the, the series started, um, when, whenever you touched the McMuffin thing, you know, every time I mean, you never saw like her experience the same. And there was like the, no even mention of her for like from the Covenant or whatever. Because it kind of would have made sense. Like, oh, like them figuring out, oh, someone else can t touch the thing too. And someone else has the same effect that she has on him because there was no mention of that so it kind of just seems like a, a made-up thing they did on the spot just to give her more prominence in the show i guess i i really don't know it just it's just something that seemed made up on the spot the other problem i had was how halsey got in a, got kicked out of her program chief just barged in with some questions about what how she got the children and how, how they were picked you think they, that would have been done earlier when she was thinking how much control cortana had over him but he took over this mean thing and she spilled all the beans on everything Besides, basically, who knew about it? But the real kicker was how the like, keys and the, that diverse boss lady had some mind projection thing in there. I mean, I know that's in like the Halo universe. I mean, you guys have Cortana, and then the yeah, everyone has virtual meanings. But there was no reference of it anywhere in Halo where the technology can be like stealth, and only no one could see it. You could project yourself in whatever rooms, I guess, and no one could see you. I don't know. I've never seen that in Halo anywhere. So they kind of just made that up on the spot to just fit the story, I guess. <laughs> when they, I, don't, I don't like when the shows do that, that do that stuff, just make up stuff just to fit whatever narrative. I don't know. Especially like Halo taking so many liberties with, with what they're doing. i just not a fan of it. The last thing I'll say I really hate about this show was the overall trajectory they have Chief going on. Like I was saying earlier, how emotional they have him. There was this one, there's been so many times in the episode where he just screaming at people and he's all of a sudden developing some mystery injuries because most of the show whenever he's like, after he finished screaming and be emotional he's like kneeling down or bending over in pain and when he finally checks himself out and some self-assessment arm thing <laughs> it said he was all systems were critical whatever that means <laughs> what the hell does that even mean it doesn't mean anything it's just a non-answer they'll use later at some point and i'm guessing that will be the point where like, the cover girl is trying to get away and it'll be used as some reason his some reason that she'll get away like the chief couldn't get it and there isn't any history of like the chief when he interacts with any of the forerunner stuff having any like physical ailments or anything he's always been fine he's been dealing with forerunner stuff for forever in the halo series and he's always been fine having a character ha having some special dna strain that let him interact with forerunner stuff tech ah. but it's only killing him when the plot needs it to I don't know, it just seems like another way they're trying to destroy Chief. And I'm wondering if they want to give him less and less time once uh, they dis once they get to Halo. And by having him more emotional and stable and having mystery illnesses might be a way to get rid of him. 
or at least maybe put him on the back burner and <laughs> make him even more of a side character in his own show. But it's just, I don't know, just thoughts in my head when I watch this show. But it's another reason why we'll have more terrible character renditions on here. I don't know what, I don't know, just things I think about when I'm watching this. Anyway, thanks for listening.